Hello everyone, in this series I'll try to get my oval D license in iRacing by participating in Street Stock Fanatec Series R. Small note here, I know nothing about NASCAR as I'm from Europe and I wasn't even curious what this all about, ever. So I have no notion of tire saving, pit stop strategies and whatever else is needed to be decent in this type of racing other than some theory I'm yet to understand that I only think I picked up uh, <laughs> by watching some YouTube videos. So I always found all this going around in circles while turning left a bit dumb, not gonna lie. It turns out I was obviously wrong with my assessment of the sport and I even got a ton of fun racing in street stock series. It turns out this is not as popular as the MX-5 one and because of that there are way fewer splits and the grid is more tight. Didn't have the chance or should I say misfortune to be placed in a lower split though so it wasn't a complete bloodbath but there was some carnage. The signs were there from my first practice session. This guy had no business entering the track at that speed, I think. I almost crashed into him because I misjudged his actual speed. Three or four corners later, there is another one who is entering the track. This one is also a blinker. This term is used in iRacing from what I noticed when referring to people who have high ping, I believe. I go towards the wall because I see he's coming in hot. I pass him, but then in my infinite wisdom I decide to lift for a bit. <laughs> and he goes past me only to spin in front of me on corner exit. <laughs> I don't even know how's that even possible, it is because he ran over the blue line, I don't know. I break a bit and move to the inside seeing he's going to hug the wall. I qualify with a time I consider to be decent, 37.219, but <laughs> I'm last. This is why I said these splits are no joke. Oh well, at least I tried, right? <sighs> I'm scared about this lap as I didn't do a rolling start in my life. Oh well, I'm curious if it's okay to rev the engine so much before the start. Tell me in the comments please if you know. So I need to find number 6 on the inside line and stay behind him. He's the white guy. So far so good. The people in this lobby are very chatty. I debate if I should just mute them so I can focus but I decide against it. So far so good. It seems easy. Just stay in second gear and mimic the car in front. Green flag is up and here goes nothing. Green's out. Green flag, green flag. I start slow and I stay slow <laughs> as I know the rookie's reputation in this series. But so far so good. Nobody crashed yet and we are on the third lap already. No idea if I should lift or not, but it seems I'm slower than my opponents and I didn't lift. That should answer my question. The guy in the back whose name is longer than a Sandra Brown novel is closing in. <laughs> and by this point I'm sure I'll be last soon. Jesus. And number 10 spins out. Looks like I'll keep my second to last position after all. Reynaldo finally goes for it and I decide to give as much room as I can but he backs off for some reason. Okay, that's cool with me. In lap 7 he tries again, this time he commits and I give him plenty of space. Too much I believe, but it's okay. It's not like we are fighting for podium or anything. I know it's my first race, but I'm amazed by this split. People didn't crash yet and their pace is better than mine. Happy to see it's possible to have a clean debut in oval racing. I expected to be wrecked in the first corner of the first lap, so it looks like this race only my skill can prevent me from finishing, as my opponents are aware of their surroundings and all the good stuff. Talking about my skill, <laughs> but even with that I managed to pass number 4. Inside. Inside. Being behind this guy so close I start to become nervous, but I don't back off even if that was my initial instinct. His ping makes him do weird stuff, making my anxiety even worse. Five. 
outside. We passed a guy who was slow near the wall and next corner. I don't know how I also managed to hit it. <laughs> and now the blinky number three will pass me again. All that work for nothing. Jesus, these, <laughs> these walls are like magnets if you hit them in a corner, making steering out of them pretty hard. But hey, at least I recovered. Okay, Chris, time to focus. For real this time. Absolute f***. Nine, eight, five, seven. So I managed to finish my first oval with not a single incident with other people at least. My only beef was with that wall. Nice. And I even got some safety rating to show for. Close race to be honest. No idea how I managed to stay only 12 seconds behind first position guy. And now for race 2. Qualifying. As I saw, I already compete with complete tryhards. I <laughs> I decide to push it from the qualifying. Let me be clear, push is a relative term to my knowledge, by the way, as I have no clue what I'm doing. I just accelerate and hope for the best. I managed to invalidate <laughs> I managed to invalidate my first lap. Yeah, so nice. One more to go. <laughs> oh f me, man. It's like I'm blind or something. Oh well, I, I start from P9 this time. I deserve to be the last, to be honest. I'm pretty tilted by my qualifying laps, I'm not gonna lie. And again, I'm on the inside, I need to have number 5 in front of me. Let's see if I can find it. 11 now. What the hell? I, I don't understand what's going on at this point. I need to pass 13. But he's on the wrong side and moves away. And the uh, number 11 is blinking like mad. God damn it. 11 makes sure to assert dominance in front of number 3 even before the green light. <laughs> oh man. This will be fun. Number 3 is sleeping and squeezes me to the point we touch. But luckily we, we don't get points. So we are good. Number 3 again is going on the inside and I back off. I don't need no drama in lap 2. He can have it, I don't care. The battle starts between these two rivals, but number 3 doesn't want none of that. He quickly made sure he along with number 11 are out of the race. Well played man. Next corner 3 other cars are off track, grinding those incident points. Some of them rejoin the track crashing some other guys. Jesus, <laughs> what a complete cluster f this is. So are my eyes deceiving me? Uh, lab 3 and I'm P2? <laughs> no way, it can't be man. Oh well, <laughs> I better start believing it and make sure I don't screw this up in my usual way. I'm 4.4 seconds off the leader and 14.7 off P3. I should be able to hold it if I don't wreck my car or some, someone exits the pits or the walls, I don't know. Okay man, stop looking at the relative distance every 2 seconds. Jesus, focus! And I think I damaged my car last time I crashed into the wall because after that I lost time every lap, even if I was fully focused and pushing the pedal to the metal. And thank god, at least it's the final lap. I must screw it up pretty badly for Glenn to catch up at this point. And this is it guys, my second ever oval racing, I got a podium position. I feel I didn't work for it too much, but after all it is well deserved because I avoid crashes and finish my 20 laps in one piece. This kind of racing is nothing like I pictured it. It's intense and requires some skills for sure. I got to this position only because in this rookie series the current track combo is pretty easy. Your only worry should be other drivers and an optimal racing line. I didn't care about tire temperatures and braking or my right tires condition at all. This feels like it's the perfect series to ease in people into oval racing. I'm hooked. My right hand and shoulder muscles are numb already and I need to start driving these cars more, I don't know, relaxed. But I don't mind the workout. Just hope I won't turn out like this by the time I get out of rookies.
I'll do one more video on ovals as I get my D license, if I get it. <laughs> then move to formula car to get that to D, then go back to sports car for my class C license on that one. I'm still not decided with what car I want to do that, but we'll see. Thank you for watching, hope you like this and if you liked it, you know what I'm supposed to ask by this point, so I won't. Either way, I appreciate you and until next time, take care and see ya.